Hello everyone. Just want to show you guys my skeleton version of my soon to be 75 gallon reef tank. The per main purpose of the video is just to kind of show you what I did as far as the background. Uh, I painted the background of the tank, the back wall, uh, with Rust-Oleum spray paint, gloss black. I used a can and a half of it. It came out really good. I'm super happy with it. But I have to say that it was a pain in the butt doing spray paint versus saying rolling on some black paint. Uh, the reason it was such a pain is because I needed a buddy to come over and help me out. He had to come over, help me pick up the tank, set it outside. I had to spray paint it. Like I said, a can and a half of spray paint I used. I had a mat. First of all, I had to mask the whole tank off too. Then when it dried, then I needed to call my buddy again. You know, our schedules conflicted. The tank sat out there longer than I wanted it to, and then finally uh, I had I had him come over help me bring the tank back inside. So it was a little bit of a pain in the butt and inconvenient for myself and my friend. I think a better way to do it, and I don't know how it comes out in the end, but uh, there is a video out there where, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember his name, but I know it's Joey something from Canada. Everybody teases him about saying a boat. But he actually is really, really knowledgeable. He's a big do-it-yourself guy. Uh, he has a video where he's rolling on paint and I would recommend probably going that route because it's just a lot easier a lot less masking you don't have to move the tank outside you could just do it inside the house and it's a lot faster and a lot cheaper if you watch this video you'll see what I'm talking about but I am really happy with the results so that's all that really matters um, in the end it was worth it for me but if I had to do it all over again I'd, I'd definitely uh, roll it on here's the back of the tank and what I wanted to kind of I guess show off a little bit. I actually drilled this hole myself. I've never drilled a tank. This was my very first time. This is a three hundred dollar, you know, Aquion seventy five gallon tank with a built in overflow. So to achieve what I wanted to do, which is the ultimately put the Herbie method overflow on for you know super quiet overflow system, you need an emergency overflow. And that's what this is for. I used a 45 millimeter diamond cut drill. The 45 millimeter diamond cut drill will create a hole that would fit a one inch bulkhead. So that's what that's gonna be. It's gonna be a one inch bulkhead with a street 90 coming out, going straight down and into the sump. And that's the back of the painted glass. When I had a nano tank, I placed the nano tank exactly where I'm going to place the 75 gallon tank. The nano tank had issues with algae blooms. I, I got frustrated with it. I got rid of it, sold it. And part of the reason, I think the biggest reason why I was getting algae blooms for that w with that tank was because the tank was sitting directly across from these two windows. So having had that experience with the algae blooms, and my wife having watched me go through the frustration of trying to clean it and get corals going and life going in, in that tank and spending the money to do that, she actually on her own got on the internet, she measured out these windows, she got custom painted tint and she put this tint on and there is zero light going to be hitting or zero sunlight I should say going to be hitting in this tank now. So thanks sweetheart. You're the best. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to mention was, you know, you, you can go with a paper backing for the background. That blue rolled up tape, the opposite side of it, is actually all black. I was going to go that route, but I didn't want to deal with salt creep. Um, I didn't think about it when I bought the, the paper. It was not a big expense or anything like that, but... You know, you're gonna get salt creep between the paper and your glass, so it's gonna be seen. It's gonna look. It's gonna be uh, defeating the purpose of having a nice background if you have that salt creep in between every few inches or so. And lastly, I think what I want to cover is my future plan. I have a sump coming. It's a Proflex Model Three. I think it's 25 gallons or so. Um, I, what I plan to do is. 
go 100% PVC on the plumbing. And I wanted to get your guys' input on the pros and cons of doing that for the people that have done it. Uh, either way, either all PVC or hose plumbing. I am going to have uh, the gate valve for the Herbie method overflow. I'm going to have ball valves to control the, the flow of the water and a check valve to ensure that I don't get any water coming back into the sump in the case of a power outage. Oops, sorry buddy. Gotta get out of the way. Um, so if you guys have any comments about that, that will be really, really appreciated uh, on the PVC. Other than that, I think that covers this segment of my uh, progress on uh, my 75 gallon build and uh, if you guys are going to keep track of me and uh, kind of have my back and give me suggestions and I will be having a, the next video on my uh, progress here. Alright, well thanks for watching.